Hello viewers. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about a research paper whose title is Approximations of Fractional Integrals and Caputo Fractional Derivatives. The paper was published in 2006 in a research journal, Applied Mathematics and Computation, by Professor Zid. In this research paper, the major goal of the author was to propose two algorithms. One for numerical fractional integration and the second numerical Caputo fractional differentiation. For numerical fractional integration, the author has presented a modification of the classical trapezoidal rule that we are familiar with from classical calculus and numerical analysis. For the numerical fractional integration, he used the operator called riemann level fractional integral operator of order alpha, where alpha is a positive real number. And as far as the numerical Caputo fractional differentiation is concerned, he used the Caputo fractional order derivative to present an algorithm along with the error analysis. He proved the numerical results with the help of some examples and computations of absolute errors. Let's come to the first section, the subsection trapezoidal rule. In this subsection, the author has given an introduction of the classical trapezoidal rule. As we all know that the numerical integration is an important tool that is used by several scientists and engineers to obtain the approximate answers for definite integrals. Those definite integrals that we cannot solve analytically because either the integrand is very complicated and in other situations, we are not given a function, rather we are given a tabular data. So, the numerical integration has to be learned. There are several techniques in numerical integration. One of the basic techniques is trapezoidal rule. Others are, for example, Simpson's rules, Weddell's rule, Newton Court's open and closed quadrature formulas, Romberg integration, Legender formulas, and many, many other techniques. So in this subsection, some short overview is given. And as you can see, the classical trapezoidal rule is given by equation 1.2. 1 1.3 1 says that the both answers are equal to each other or approximately equal to each other. In 1.4, you can see the error term in the trapezoidal rule and 1.5 gives you the formula for the computation of error exact minus the answer from trapezoidal rule. In subsection 1.2, some basic definitions are provided such as Equation 1.6 is the definition for the riemann level fractional integral of order alpha and then from 1.7 through 1.11, the fractional integral of order alpha of some basic functions is computed. Then you can see 1.13, for example, which is a definition for the Caputo fractional derivative. Some preliminaries are given in subsection 1.3. The major section contributed by the author is now section 2, in which theorem 2 gives an algorithm which is used for numerical fractional integral. So 2.1 shows that algorithm called modified trapezoidal rule in fractional calculus. In this rule, if you replace alpha by 1, you will resume the classical trapezoidal rule. 
some error analysis has been presented based on the theorems given in preliminaries and then some examples are solved for example you can see in the first problem sine function is taken and its alpha order fractional integral is computed at the final mesh point which is taken to be 1 so 0 0.5 is the order of the fractional integrals different step sizes are taken and the third column shows the approximate answer while the last column is the column for absolute errors in table 2.2 the order is taken to be one which is actually the classical case and then now in table 2.3 fractional order 1.5 is taken after that section 3 is also the major contribution of the author in which he has presented an algorithm for the computation of Caputo fractional derivatives and that algorithm in journal is given by equation 3.1 but if i replace m by 1 then the algorithm 3.4 comes and this is the algorithm that we can use for numerical caputo fractional differentiation and then he has presented some examples for this algorithm to show the performance and that's it this is all has been done in this research paper now next time I will show you how can we design a MATLAB code for these two algorithms. The first one given by equation 2.1 for numerical fractional integration and the second one is the equation 3.4 for numerical Caputo differentiation. So we will learn how to design the MATLAB code in my next lecture. Meanwhile, let me switch to MAPL and let me tell you that there is a built-in command that can compute the fractional derivatives of some functions and fractional integrals as well. The command is rec diff. And now, for example, I'm going to choose a function x squared with respect to x, and its half derivative is being computed. Let me include a few more functions. Let's say exponential function e power minus 3 into x, its half derivative, and then say another function sine of x. So let me run this script and you can see we have three different answers involving spatial functions as well. So this, this is how you can compute the fractional derivatives of order one by two. You can change the order, you can change the functions as well. And now if you replace positive one by two by negative one by two, it gives you the fractional integral of these three functions on the script again and here we go we have these three functions which are the exact answers for the fractional integrals if you try a function for example sine of x plus 1 divided by x with respect to x and it's for example half derivative is required run the script and you will see that it is not possible for MAPLE to differentiate this function with order 1 by 2. And hence, the numerical analysis comes. Finally, I would request you to like, share, and to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my lecture.